One final example of parametric equations and working with those, finding the arc length, is that we have this function x equals e to the t plus e to the minus t, and then y equals 5 or minus 2t. And we're trying to find the arc length from 0 to 3 of that parametric. Now, remember, we have to use the formula that we're going to square each of the derivatives. So let's start by finding dx dt. And that's going to be e to the t minus e to the minus t. Okay, um, And again, that's by using our chain rule that we have to have the minus in there. And our derivative of y with respect to t is going to be negative 2. All right, so that doesn't look too bad so far. But we do have to square each of these. Okay, So we're going to square this, and we're going to square this. And we're going to square this, and we're going to square this. Okay, so if we square everything, okay, then this is going to become dy dt square is equal to four. Right? Um, and for this guy right here, we're going to have to change this into a foil. So e to the t minus e to the minus t, and then e to the t minus e to the minus t. And if we foil it out, that's going to give us e to the 2t minus e to the t times e to the minus t minus e to the t times e to the minus t, and then finally plus e to the minus 2t. Right? Um, now, this right here is just going to become e to the 0, which is 1, or in this case, negative 1, because right, of the negative sign in front. And then this is going to become negative e to the zero, which is negative one as well. So another way to write this is e to the 2t minus 2 plus e to the minus 2t. Okay. Now we're going to substitute this as well as the 4 back underneath of our radical for our length. So remember, arc length is the integral from, in this case, 0 to 3. We're going to have e to the 2t minus 2 plus e to the minus 2t plus 4 dt. All right, so remember, we take the square of the derivative with respect to x, or derivative of x with respect to t squared, and the derivative of y with respect to t squared. Only thing we can do at this point is just add those two constants, OK? So the length is going to be the integral from 0 to 3, square root of e to the 2t plus 2 plus e to the minus 2t dt. Now, you might remember from the section with arc lengths when we did our applications of integrals that the trick is, is to see if you can get a perfect square. And notice that this looks almost precisely like what's underneath of the radical. The only difference is the sign is a positive and the sign here is a negative. And remember, this was equal all the way back up here to e to the t minus e to the minus t squared. And so what we can do is we can just rewrite it with a plus. So if this were a plus, then this would be a plus as well. All right, so this is going to be equal to by factoring 0 to 3 square root of e to the t plus e to the minus t square dt. OK, so again, all I did just change this guy to a plus, and then this just becomes a square. And now this is really nice because those cancel out. We now have the integral from 0 to 3 of e to the t plus e to the minus t dt. When we integrate both of those, they're pretty easy to integrate. So this is going to be e to the t. Um, technically, this is going to be plus e to the minus t over negative 1. And we could just write that as minus e to the minus t. All right. Because remember, we're doing the reverse of the chain rule. And that's going to go from 0 to 3. <clears throat> if we substitute 3 back in, we get e cubed minus e to the minus 3. If we substitute 0 back in, we get e to the 0 minus e to the minus 0. Now, this one's just going to go away because we get 1 minus 1. OK, that cancels out. And then a couple ways we could write this if we chose to. Um, clearly e cubed minus e to the minus 3. Another way, e cubed minus 1 over e cubed. If we got a common denominator of e cubed, we could write this as e to the ninth minus 1 over e, or e to the 6 minus 1, excuse me, 
because we would have to add to get a common denominator. So this could be e to the sixth minus one, okay? So, um, and again, we could rewrite this by multiplying e cubed by e cubed over e cubed, which would make this e to the sixth over e cubed. And then we still have the minus one over e cubed. So this is a way that I got this, all right? Most of the time, the back of the book answer would probably look like this, all right? But um, just making sure that you guys understand how to get that, okay? I'm perfectly fine with this answer. That doesn't hurt my feelings, all right? So that's our parametric equations, okay? So we've seen how to graph using technology, table of values. We saw how to eliminate the parameter. We saw slopes, and then we saw arc lengths, okay? So um, our next section we're gonna move on is a specific type of parametric, and that's gonna be polar functions. So we'll look at those in our next series of videos.